What's up, y'all? Hello. I know you're like, Chef, what happened to your butt yesterday? <laughs> they got full. Eating them kunk fritters and kunk salad. They got full. So all they wanted was something. So you know what? We're just going to get some oysters. We just had a few oysters. Had a dozen of oysters each after that. Because the other meal was going to be too large. That's all I'm making that today. <laughs> I know you're like, Chef, you've been talking about these crab cakes and this corn uh, uh, gravy for the past couple of days. I ain't seen it yet, Chef. <laughs> well, I got all the stuff for it, so it's all good. I'm going to make it today before I go to what you call it, though. Let's clean this fry out. Spray that. Yeah, so this is how I be doing my time. I think I be out right here just playing around and stuff. I be doing stuff. <laughs> I say, you know what? I go live. Cause they didn't see me last night. And they say, I know they wondering what happened to Chef and uh, um, these crab cakes. But I didn't make them. I didn't make them. Y'all already know I would have came on live if I made them. I didn't make them yet, though. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Uh, Shelly. Who? 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 Cheryl Torres said, uh, said, my goodness, kunk salad. Yeah, I made that yesterday. I made kunk salad yesterday. I did. Made kunk salad yesterday. Uh, Shereen Ruffington, hello. Betty Laws. Hey, Betty. Hey, Betty. So we went to we went to Gary's that had them oysters the same place I went there last time. But it was quick, like I said, I went there real fast. Real fast. We went there, got some oysters, came on back to the house. That's all it did. Um what is this? Joyce Smith. Hello. Joyce Smith. Is that my auntie Joyce? <laughs> Hey, Marilyn. I said cleaning on it. Nobody coming to that room. <laughs> Nobody come on the live. I said I was cleaning. <laughs> we don't want to see that shit. <laughs> I got to do cleaning already. Don't remind me. I got to clean myself. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, hey, Kendra. I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. You know it's true, Marilyn. That they, they see I put on that uh, doing a little cleaning. They're like, uh uh, -uh Chef, I don't see you clean this. I have to clean myself. <laughs> it's a job right here. I wish y'all got to see the whole thing. I don't have my other holder with me. This a whole job. You gotta do all this. Yeah, it's, it's a whole process to clean these fryers out. Yeah, we need some nice fresh grease. Nice fresh grease. And you want to be what be burning at the bottom of your of your, of your, of your fryers, all this gunk. That's what burn your grease up. And get some nice fresh grease for this week. And um, yeah, today, well, tomorrow's Good Friday. So tonight is, um, hey, Felicia Finney, how are you doing today? Um, yeah, tomorrow's Good Friday. Oh, so it's, oh, I, you know what? I don't think I got enough fish. Everybody gonna be eating fish tomorrow. Tomorrow's Good Friday. God dang it, I only got one case of fish. God dang it. Who else eating fish tomorrow? We always eat fish for Good Friday. You know, we always eat fish on Fridays anyway, because every, every Friday good. <laughs> it's good to eat a piece of fish on Friday. I don't think the oil out already. 
I know y'all like, when you dumping that oil that stuff, if we have a container, we dump the oil that this is water. So it's not oil I'm putting into the sink. That's no, no. Um, the Catherine Steak said, I eat fish every Friday. Yeah, that's what I said. A lot of everybody, most people eat fish every Friday. Just about everybody I know. Try to at least try to get some fish in on a Friday. I don't know why they make this thing this way. It's the most craziest way they make this um this um fryer. You can't get down in there. You gotta keep pouring water to get it in there and stuff to or, or use a spray gun. I'm about to get that water hose in a second. I say matter of fact, we ain't got time for that. We're gonna get that water hose. <laughs> You gotta keep doing this process right here. And I want some hot water. Water hose ain't give me no ain't gonna give me no hot water. I'm gonna bring this thing back. The new, that new grease in there. Who we at? Who we got? Who we got? Hello, everybody. That I ain't say hello to. Hello. Roberts. Tell me no today. Sometimes I get help. Sometimes I get help for people to come and um, do stuff. But if I, don't, if I can't find nobody to do it, I do it myself. I always been that way, y'all. I always been that way. Like I said, I was always. You always called me a. Say you. You were the best boss I ever had. You the one of the best boss I ever had. Cause like, I just didn't sit back and dictate. I also got my hands dirty too. <laughs> Dish pit could be full. I'm from jumping there too, Can we because it's I can't sit back and watch you wash them because I'm still gonna sit there, you know what I mean, with my thumbs tied too because I need it. So I'm gonna help you out. So I might as well just jump in on it instead of barking back orders. No, we don't do that. We don't do that. You gotta jump on in. My employees love me. <laughs> They'll do anything for you because you'll do anything with them. So, yeah. Just know that you're not one of the people that's going to stand back and watch and bark orders. Put these gloves on. That's, that's the grease. That's going to take your finger. finger um, you your take your skin. You're feeling real slick like bleach. That's that strong stuff. Say Julia uh, Scone said I was the same way as a manager, right? And th they, you could you could tell they appreciate like you know, like you know what I mean because we all in it together, like um so. And people they they, they tend to to um to love you more. They'll do more stuff things and stuff for you and stuff. They don't have a problem doing things with you because they know that you got their back. So that's what I tend to. I've always been that way. Always. Scrubs, you got all the things you got to clean on this fryer, just not the fryer itself. Scrub all this stuff. Make that thing look like it's new. <laughs> That's why another thing is, a lot of people know the hard work that goes into all the chefs across the world, inside, everywhere. 
all the chefs. We the first ones in, last ones out. First ones in, last ones out. All the time. So I give all, all the, I'll give, give, give the, the thanks and shout outs to all the chefs out there and stuff that be doing their thing. I mean, it's a, big, it's a lot of hard work. Hard work. I just want y'all to know this because when y'all go to restaurants, when y'all go to restaurants, of course, everybody ain't the same. Well, everybody's not the same. You know what I mean? Everybody's not the same. I can't say that. Everybody's not the same. Some chefs do it for a paycheck. Majority of them do it because it's a passion and it's a difference. It's the difference of, of, of doing something that's a passion and doing it for a paycheck. There's a difference. The work ethic is gonna be different. The, um, the food is gonna be different. The presentation is gonna be different. It's, it's everything will be different because the person that's doing it just for a paycheck is gonna be some slop. And they don't care how they feed you, what's going on with your plate, they don't, they don't care. I'm trying to tell you, they don't care. Opposed to a person that's it's their passion and they are doing it for a paycheck. You're doing for, of course, you're going to get paid too as well but when it's your passion, it's different. It's a difference. There is. I do you know what I'm talking about. Hey, Carol, Temple. Sir Felicia Finney says, say, you definitely know the difference, right? You can tell when you are um, <laughs> You can tell in the presentation, you're telling the food how I come out to your table. <laughs> you can tell the difference. <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> you sure can, you can tell, y'all. All right, that ain't gonna work. I need the master blaster. I need to uh, get the spray gun. I'm gonna get the spray gun now. Give me a second. Hello, everybody just came in. Uh, Norman Ashley, what's going on? Everything's good. Ah. Mm. Let me go get the spray gun. Uh, hey, Glenda Young Moore. It's the only way you can clean this thing. You gotta. Master Blaster. Hey, Mini Bryant. I ain't see you in a while.
So y'all want no hat? This hat is the fries get clean. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man. Always a little bit. You can't get up out of it. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm talking about. Look how they made it so stupid. I don't know why they made these fryers like this. See how they make them? And you can't get down in them. You see that? You see I'm stuck at? I'm stuck right there. You can't put your hand down there because they make them so stupid. I don't know why they put these in here for the fryers. I think it should just be a thing you can lower or whatever or down to the bottom. I don't know why they make them like this. But they get hot quick. But it's hard to clean because, like I said, it's hard to get between these pieces right because you can't, your hand can't fit. You can't touch this because this is the thermostat. That's the thermostat to control the gauge stuff. So you can't move this too much or touch it because you don't want to mess up your thermostat. Then, you, then your grease be burnt up. <laughs> like, what's wrong with my grease? What's wrong with my fry? It's all burnt up. <laughs> and you gotta take it, try to wedge your hand up under here. And you know I got big hands, so that don't that don't work. That didn't look that don't, that don't look good. <laughs> <laughs> like something else, it's just gone. <laughs> that didn't look good at all. <laughs> uh, yeah, I tried. I have this thing right here. This. And it, I try to put the drag on the end of it. And that, that's good on work. Yeah. And that's, that still don't work. So, it sometimes be a little bit left in there. There'll be a lot to where it's going to affect the grease. But it does help if it's cleaned all the way out. Now, another method is you can sit here and take it and you can boil it boil it out i know it's a bag called boil out bag and you put it in you turn the turn the fryers back on and it, it it'll boil most of the stuff out out of it though but that chemical smell that smell stinks Out. I want some, I need some hot water going there. Just dry it out, tip the thing forward, get the rest of the water out. Mm. 
dry it out. That grease gonna be popping. The snag's exploding. And all that water be down at the bottom. Let's dry it out. I think I got it. Take a look at it. Let's see if thing look like a brand new Lexus. There we go. Mm. Mm. Clean. See, I got it. That thing like a nice little Lexus. <laughs> like a shiny new Lexus. All right. Let me get my oil. Close my little pipe up. I did that one time. Oh, my God. I was rushing. As a matter of fact, I was at uh, So Delicious. I was rushing. Cleaning that fryer. Clean. I had we have, we have three fryers there. And the grease is burnt up. The truck came in late. They got a whole, I had a whole line of people waiting for some dang on fried chicken, fried fish. I had a whole line, a whole lot of people out there waiting. But I had to change that grease. Except the truck had came late. It's normally come in the morning, but it came late. Something happened with them. You know it's Atlanta traffic. So I went ahead and uh, had to stop the line. But it was a line of people out there too. It was on the, it was on the dang on Saturday. A line of people was out there waiting for this goddamn you know, fried chicken, fried fish. All the fries, so I couldn't do nothing fried. So I had to stop the line. It uh, I changed the oil, but I was rushing. I forgot to close. I forgot to close the thing. Oil everywhere, everywhere. So I made a bigger mess trying to rush and do what I was doing. So just, just take your time. I say, say, take your time, young man. And mama used to say, <laughs> yeah, take your time. <laughs> if you're doing something, there's no, no point of rushing. The same thing, even with driving, no point of rushing. You're going to get there the same time. Do you mind up messing up and doing something wrong? So just take your time. If you're already late, just, just be late. <laughs> take your time, whatever you're doing, because you're going to wind up, like I said, you're going to wind up messing up. Closed up. This fish gonna. I'll, but you know, I'll, I'll change. I'll, I'll fry fish in here. I'll fry fish. I fry fish in my little fry over there. I'll fry it in here. I just fry chicken, chicken, mozzarella sticks, and the jalapeno poppers, and and um. French fries. I'm not uh, shrimp and fish get fried over there. Chicken only. Chicken only things that not gonna make the fish the grease taste like fish. I need to get another big fryer. So I know y'all wonder how many things of oil this thing take. This thing's a Bentley. So you know if you got a Mercedes, you got a you got high end cars, or you got the, uh, what you call the cars, you take more oil. But what happens is. Like, so, uh, I got a Mercedes, but, you know, so, but changing the oil cost me $176 to change oil, but I don't have to change my oil until every 15,000 miles. I don't got to change it every 3,000 miles. So, the price goes like that. So, it works. So, so this thing takes two things of oil. <laughs> it takes about two weeks and a half before it start burning. One and a half. One and a half oil. And the crazy thing is, I don't even use the majority of the oil that's in it. It stops. I'm going to show y'all what, because the, the great stock is going down. This protects the um it protects the thermostat from getting hit. And I clean these baskets too. I'm gonna show y'all though. This this all the 
it's all of what you call it you use, you get. And you got a basket. And it's all you able to, able to use. Is that much. So, <laughs> the, but the oil keeps going around, going around. Going around it. So, yeah. <laughs> so, it seems, like a, it seems like a waste of oil. But, like I said, it takes a long time for it to burn up. But, anyway, I came on here to tell you guys, uh, hello. Hello. And uh, I will be on <laughs> in a little bit. What time is it? It's 1 o'clock. Because I had to cook early. Because tonight is... um. Tonight is, what you call it night? Uh, karaoke. Let me turn this water off. Tonight is karaoke. So, um, and it's Good Friday. And it's Good Friday. So, a lot, a lot, of, a lot of people going to be, a lot of people going to be off work. So, we're expecting a crowd tonight for the karaoke. And like I said, if you guys are in town, I don't know if you, for the ones that's here in Lakeland and everything else stuff. Come on in, come on in, come on, tell a friend, bring a friend. And come on, have a good time and sing this karaoke. Because <laughs> they be having a good time. They do. Dang, it's hot out here. It's supposed to get cool, though. But it's, it's, it's hot now. It's pretty outside, but it, it was ugly this morning. Yeah. God, dang, it's hot now. It's supposed to be, the weather's supposed to be changed, but it don't, it don't feel like it. Sure don't feel like it. Hey, Belly Wallace. Like I said, I just came on to say hello. And tell you guys I'll be back on later on. Because I did not make the crab cakes, okay? I was waiting for y'all. <laughs> so, it's like I said, it's 1 o'clock now. I'm going to the gym for an hour. I'll be on at 3.30, okay? Because give me time to take a shower. 3.30, I will be on, okay? I will see you guys at 3.30. I'm going to make some crab cakes. I guess my life's going to be early today because I have to go to work, okay? Um, so I'll be on 3.30, and I'll see you guys making some crab cakes. That co the corn, the corn, um, I don't know what to call it. I'll just come and call it corn gravy because that's what it looked like. <laughs> and it wasn't sweet. It was savory. Make this corn gravy and these mashed potatoes. <laughs> so come on in, come on in, tell a friend And get ready for the live at 3.30, alright I love you guys, you guys have a blessed day Y'all be safe out there, don't rush Like I said, take your time, young man And mama used to say Don't you scare the kid up <laughs> And mama used to say Live your life <laughs> I, I don't know the dang old words All that I know is mama used to say <laughs> I know. <laughs> all right, y'all. Y'all have a, a good day. Love y'all. I'll see y'all later. Y'all know I ain't got no dang on sense. <laughs>